I want to get a bunch of calls for a few minutes and see which path you want to take as a voter, as a citizen, as a Republican, as an independent, as a Democrat. I don't care what you are. You've got a party divided. And I truly believe that that is a little bit deceptive when when we say it's a it's a Republican party that's divided because I believe the vast majority of Republicans are very very enthusiastic about Trump. He's not going anywhere. The Trump brand continues and the Liz Cheneys and the Mitt Romneys of the world wish it would go away. And their wish will not be fulfilled. It's a mistake. Lindsey Graham had it right. The future of the Republican Party should include Donald Trump. Let's see if you agree or not. John, we'll start with you. Hey, John, how are you? I'm good, sir. Nice talking right. to you. Uh, I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. It's an honor to talk to you. Uh, Liz Cheney, to me, is uh, totally out of touch with uh, us middle class uh, grassroots Republicans. I, you know, I just don't agree with her thinking or any other the Republican rhinos like her. Uh, I'm a, I'm going to support President Trump to the end. He's the Republican Party. All right, John, appreciate it. Let's see what others say. Jordan, you're up. Hi, Jordan. Uh, hi, Mike. I love your show. Yeah, I'm, Thank you. I'm totally, I'm totally with Trump. Trump is the Republican Party. He saved the party. And it's time for the McConnells and the Cheneys and the Romneys. We got to vote them out. And to talk about splitting the party, that's not happening. We just need to take over the Republican Party. Because Let's see what others think. Thanks, Jordan. Let's get a lot of voices in here. 1-800-655-MIKE. Anita, you're up. Hi, Anita. What do you think? Hi. I believe President Trump gave the Republican Party a backbone, and I'm with him all the way. All right. Thanks, Anita. One open line, 800-655-MIKE. Uh, do you think Liz Cheney is right that Trump should not be a part of the, the party going forward? Or is Kevin McCarthy and other enthusiastic Republicans correct about Donald Trump? 1-800-655-MIKE. Mark, you're up. How you doing, Mark? I'm well, Mike. How are you? Good, good. What do you think of uh, of the two Republican leaders and their divergent views here? Well, I'm I'm uh, I'm going to support neither. I only want to support uh, anti-establishment uh, Republicans, pro-Trump Republicans, those who are willing to uh, not just push back, but not not just resist the globalist elitist agenda, but those who are actually willing to push back on it, and those who are willing to fight for and die for the Bill of Rights. I mean, both politically and literally, that is our most important. <laughs> document that we have and we you bet all right mark thanks one open line 800-655-6453 which path do you follow which 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 choice do you make uh kevin mccarthy or liz cheney peter you're on the mike gallagher show how you doing peter i'm all with trump and mccarthy and the heck with the liz cheney's and the mitch mcconnell's and then let's compromise to get along all right. Thank you, sir. Tom, you're next. Hey, Tom, what about you? Hi, Liz Cheney's way or Kevin McCarthy's way? Kevin McCarthy's way, Mike, 100% of the time. Uh, all for Trump, 100%. I appreciate it. 800 655 Mike. A lot of text messages coming in, too, on the MyPillow text line. If you're not on the Trump train, you're going to get left behind. Here's another one Trump 2024. Liz Cheney is bought by the big corporations. Another one, I do support Trump speaking at CPAC. Front and center is where he belongs. Biden is throwing us under the bus. We need hope. Here's another one, if Kevin McCarthy stays the course, then I'm definitely on his path. My wholehearted support is for Trump 2024 or whoever President Trump supports if he doesn't choose to run. Charles, you're up. Hey, Charles, welcome to the Mike Gallagher Show. Which way do you, which path are you on? Well, I'm, I'm with uh, uh, Trump all the way. But the comment that I'd like to make is most of these Republicans that are against Trump right now, they were Democrats back in the Reagan era, era and they switched their party, but they didn't switch their thinking. <laughs> All right. One open line. Thanks. Paul, you're up. Hey, Paul, what do you think? Cheney or McCarthy? Neither one of them. I'm surprised that, that Americans actually can support Trump when he never— 
fulfilled his promises except anyone to uh, Israel. That's what he's working for, it looks like. And most Cheney. And he's with Liz Cheney, then. Okay, so there, there's one. We got one who's anti-Israel. 800-655-MIKE. Alan, you're on. Hi, Alan. How are you? Yeah, hi, Mike. Um, hi. I, be I believe that 2024 is a generational election and that after Biden, the country will not have a taste for an older person. I'm, I'm a Trump Republican, but I'm right. hoping for somebody like DeSantis. And I don't think the country wanna, wants to go back to the kind of, of, of hostile feeling from night of the last four years. Uh, that's an interesting. I want to I want to drill down on that for just a moment because I've heard other people bring that up the the hostile the the kind of drama and the intensity, but you understand that there there was w without Trump none of the accomplishments that we saw with in term in terms of the the roaring economy all hey Operation Warp Speed we got vaccines because of Donald Trump right now all the great stuff that was accomplished was accomplished by that guy. So, so why do we give them the win about the the drama? They created the drama and the hostility, not 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 Trump. Well, I don't want to give them the win. Uh, I just think it's uh, uh, connection there. I don't know what happened to you. Sorry, we lost your cell phone. Okay, appreciate it very much. Eight hundred six five five Mike. Uh, let's get one or two more in here, and we got lots of breaking news here. Uh, all kinds of stuff out of New York with Cuomo. Holy Moses. Here's uh, Chris. Chris, welcome to the Mike Gallagher Show. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Pretty good. So you heard Kevin McCarthy. Yep, Trump should speak. You heard Liz Cheney. No, he should have no role in the future. Which, which side are you on, Chris? Well, I'd have to be on Kevin McCarthy because that's the closest thing to Jesus we can get to in this world. So I don't even know what else to say. All right. Kevin McCarthy's as close to Jesus? Um, okay. Jackie, you're on. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Pretty good. What do you think about these two leaders and the different different things they said? They only care about the freaking upper class citizens putting the money in their own damn pockets, keeping our, our cool schools and everything shut down. Gee, Merry Christmas, people. I know. No, no, Jiminy Christmas is right. I mean, and now we got a COVID nineteen stimulus bill that is not COVID rel relief. We got a COVID stimulus package that the Democrats are going to shove down our throats so they can get their wish list of getting Democrats funded for 2022. Here's Senator John Kennedy, cut six. I love this. He was with Dana Perino and Bill Hemmer. Incidentally, Dana Perino is one of my favorite Fox News personalities. I just, I just love her work and she's got a book coming out and I think we've got her booked on the show coming up which will be kind of neat because uh, I, I don't do a lot of guests on this show anymore. I'd rather have you as my guest. Uh, I do very few guests. I'm going to talk to Dinesh D'Souza in just a couple of moments because he's a he's a big cultural uh, uh, icon with his podcast and his great, great perspectives. And I think we have Dana Perino coming up as well. He, quickly, here's uh, Senator John Kennedy talking about the $1.9 trillion dollar boondoggle that the Democrats are trying to advance. This isn't a coronavirus bill. Uh, this, this is a left of linen neo-socialist wish list. I mean, it just is. It is chock full of spending porn. They've got money for transit projects and bridges and language preservation, uh, uh, billions for people who are in our country illegally. I am all for spending additional monies to, to uh, combat the coronavirus. But this bill isn't it. They got to erect a statue for that guy. I love that Senator John Kennedy. 